All right, so I'm gonna show how to mount one of these Unify HD things um, to the wall. Uh, I'm not gonna show all the other mounting methods because this is what I need to do, but they got this bracket. It actually tells you how to use each um, wall mount and it comes with all this hardware. So I'm not sure what every piece of hardware is for, but they have different screws for like wood and for like anchors into the wall, things like that. I don't know what these metal brackets are for. Maybe somebody knows. I think they might be for like the ceiling mounts where you can twist them in place. But um, yeah, so we're gonna do the wall mount onto one of these kind of socket things. So they actually had this, the female socket here, but what you need is the male um, connector, which is just a regular ethernet cable. So what I'm gonna do is get some shorter six inch cables. I couldn't find shorter ones, but technically you can just splice them and make your own size cables. But uh, with the six inch cable, then we can kind of wrap around the extra and stick it in the wall. But we'll show, I'll show you how to mount this. So first what you wanna do is just unwrap this stuff, okay? Okay, let's just get the plastic off here. And this one is super easy to mount actually. So with the wall, they actually will tell you here. So let's see here. Um, so this is E, single gang outlet box. So it says to use E. So the E is just these two right here. Okay. And they have some screws that they came with, but they're super, super long. So I'm actually gonna just use the ones that were holding this plastic cover in place. If you did have this plastic cover on, it sticks on like this, okay? And then if you wanna remove this, assuming yours is the same, there's a clip here, you just push down on top, and then when you push it down, you can swing the thing out like that. Okay, so I'm not gonna connect it right now, but basically what you'd be doing, um, underneath here, there's this rubber cover, so you need to take this out, okay? If you are gonna um, have a wire going out from here, so you can actually connect a device to this. So there's a main one, which is what goes to the router. And then there's the secondary, which goes to your device. You would wanna take this, there's this plastic piece here. So you wanna pop that off, oops. It's a little bit difficult to get out. So now that that's popped off, you can actually run the wire out from there. And also if you have ceiling mounts and you don't have the wires coming out of where it's going, then you'd wanna use that as well. So for now, I'm gonna leave that plastic piece on. What do I do with that here? So for now, I'm just gonna leave that plastic piece in place, okay? And I'm gonna show how to, it just pops back in like that. And I'm gonna leave the rubber cover on there for now. This rubber cover, you can actually run the wires through it. So if you want it more clean, you can actually stretch this out and then run the wires through it. But um, yeah, I'm gonna leave that as is for now. We're gonna, we're most likely gonna take that rubber piece out. Okay, so to mount it, again, there's only the two screw. I don't know how I'll show this. Let's see, maybe like this. There we go. There we go. Very simple. The best way, get that in there. Stick the one screw in there. Get that screw and tighten this one in. So it's, it's good to tighten this one first because then you can swing it out of the way and then you can actually get the cable out. Okay, so this one you would put, just put it loosely for now. Um, I am gonna tighten it all the way because later, well, I guess you can technically leave this one not completely tightened so you can swivel it around because this one, the hole is um, a perfect circle to fit the screw. So you can swing this over. But essentially you're gonna take the wire and then you can have this going there. Oops, you would swing it over this way, just like this. And then when you have the cable like this, then you can plug this into, um, so pretend this is the male connector, not the female connector. And then you would plug that into this. So you would plug this into the main one, okay? And then after that you can, um, get that but so this I'm gonna leave inside the wall for now okay we're gonna put it like this 
And then we'll grab the other screw. What did I do? Throwing everything everywhere. Here we go. Grab the other screw. Make sure to line up the E hole there. And then you can tighten this in. Okay. So for now, I don't need to have it all the way tightened, but I'm just going to show how it works. Um, on the other outlets, because we need the cables, I'm going to just leave it hanging, this plate hanging down for temporarily. Okay, but this is, we're going to tighten this one up. So as you can see, this one has like some play to it. So this one you want to have centered when you tighten it down. The one on the bottom, you can leave it not completely tight. So that way when you take this out, if you ever need to swing it over, you can. It doesn't need to be tightened. Once you tighten this one down, the whole thing shouldn't be able to rotate at all, okay? Because this one, it doesn't have any play. It's just a circle perfectly around the screw, okay? And then to put this on, so I think this is for like a ceiling mount. They come with all these extra plates, but that's not needed. So what you do, um, there's these notches here. I don't want to show like the information that's on it, but there's these notches here and that lines up with these notches here. So you have to put it slightly twisted counterclockwise. And also there's this little notch here. I'll show what that's for in a bit. But the rotation is very slight, so it's you can't really tell that much which way it's rotated. But just try and line up um, one of the notches here with this when you're putting it. I, the way I do that is I keep my finger on that notch and I'll line it up like that and then I'll drop it on. So like that and then you can kind of twist it around to get it in place and then twist it. And there it's locked in just like that. If you need to take it back out, it comes with this little metal shim tool, okay? So that hole that I showed earlier, it's on this side. You just stick the shim tool in there, push it all the way in, just like that, as far as it'll go, and then twist it back counterclockwise. And that's how you remove that, so like that. Okay, so pretty simple to remove. But yeah, once you get this, you'll have the plug come out, and then you'll plug it into the main one. And then make sure if you're using this that you have the, um, the ethernet ports that you have are, have PoE which is power over ethernet, I believe that's what it stands for. And that will power this. Um, this device did come with a adapter that provides power over ethernet. But then if you use that, you will have to um, have the wires coming out from the bottom. So keep that in mind. This one, they got a gigabit ethernet switch that has power over ethernet on all the ports. And so that way it's more clean. You don't have to have anything hanging out from the bottom. Okay, so once again, we're just going to put it back on, and then once you get it in, make sure it's lined up, and then just twist it over, just like that. Okay, and then it should lock in place, and you shouldn't be able to twist it back off, okay? So it's just like that. Okay, and again, if you want to take it off, you just need to use that little shim that it comes with. Okay, so I'm going to leave that there, and that's pretty much it. Hopefully this video helped you guys. I know I didn't show all the other mounting methods. It varies from everything, uh, depending what you're mounting into the ceiling or into the wall itself. Um, so, yeah, if you need that, um, I, don't, I don't have a video for that, but you'll have to just figure out. Okay, um, yeah, I'm pretty sure with these, you'd basically drill... Um, the size of this, push them into the wall, and then when you put the screws in, it will expand it out. Anyways, hopefully you guys can figure out the other mounting methods if you don't have this kind of setup. But yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in another one. Bye.